Assalamu alaikum Quran weekly mashallah today we dive into surah yunus mashallah and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhan nasu o people this is verse number 57 of surah yunus o people what does he want to say o people o people imagine the maker is saying o people subhanallah amazing i am one of them in fact i have another title as well uh, inshallah al mu'min so ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o believers o you who believe here Allah is saying, Ya Yuhannas, O people, Ya Yuhannas, Qad ja'atkum maw'idatun min rabbikum. A reminder has come to you from your Rabb. The word Rabb is used because he is talking to people. Sometimes if you say Allah, someone might say, I don't believe in Allah. Well, tell them your maker, that's who Allah is. Your maker, the one who is in control of every aspect of your existence. So if you notice when Allah says, Ya Ayyuhannas, a lot of the times he uses the term Rabbun. He says, Ittaqu Rabbakum. Ya Ayyuhannas, Ittaqu Rabbakum. And when he sometimes says, Ya Ayyuhal Ladina Amanu, you will find the term Allah being used later on. This is something that I found in the Quran amazing. So Allah says, Ya Ayyuhannas, O people, it, ya yuhannas qad ja'atkum maw'idhatum min rabbikum. A reminder, the term maw'idha can be interpreted in many different ways. You know, wa'adh, something that is like a warning, something that is a reminder uh, to take heed by. So a maw'idha has come to you from your Rabb, this reminder. Qad ja'atkum maw'idhatum min rabbikum wa shifa'un and cure. Now cure, before we get into cure from what? What do you want cure from? That's the question. So do you suffer any illness, any sickness? I think a lot of us do not have the type of contentment and peace and happiness internally that we would like to have. So even if we do have a little bit of it, pockets of it are missing or sometimes pockets of it are only found. So this is why Allah says shifa'un. What we have sent to you, what has come to you, and this is referring to the Quran, and this is referring to the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what has come to you is mawidatun min rabbikum, a reminder from your Rabb, from your maker, your nourisher, the one who owns this, your sustenance, the one who owns the heart of whomsoever you love. Subhanallah, you love someone, Allah owns their heart. Do you know that? Allah owns their, their entire Existence, amazing. وَشِفَاءٌ لِمَا فِي الصُّدُورِ And cure for that which is in the chest. So what lies in the chest, subhanAllah, amazing. The blood vessels lie within the chest. And if I am sick or ill, I need to test my blood and see, determine what type of a sickness I have. And the headquarters of that blood is the heart. It pumps out the blood everywhere. So Allah is saying, we have sent down to you, we have given you already that which has in it the cure for what is in your heart. Amazing. Subhanallah. This is the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wahudan. And in it there is guidance. We look for guidance. We want to be guided. People say, I need guidance. But then when we come up with the rulings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, people say, oh, that's too tough. Or I don't agree with this. How can you not agree with something that Allah has stipulated? How can you not agree? Do you know that Allah has made you and me? It's like someone saying, I don't agree to put petrol into the vehicle at this place here. I want to put petrol into the battery. Or I want to put perhaps maybe air uh, into the tank. Uh, or maybe I want to put the wheel right at the top. You cannot do that because your machine will not operate. Your vehicle will not move. So Allah has created us. We are far more sophisticated than anything else. And we need to know and realize that Allah says we have sent you guidance guidance, a guide to guide you, to show you the path, the path of happiness, the path of success, every single path you can think of, of goodness, and even to show you how important it is to remain away or to stay away from the evil path. The path that leads towards bad and evil is also made clear so that we can stay away from it. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَرَحْمَةٌ and mercy. So, Guidance and mercy. Guidance and mercy, the point of mercy. But who will achieve mercy? Everyone wants mercy. We are at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will only achieve mercy if we understand that Allah alone is to be worshipped. And we understand why Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent to us. He was sent as a mercy, subhanallah. So we need to know and realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Lil mu'mineen. It is only for those who believe. Those who believe truly are the ones who will benefit properly from the revelation of the Quran. If we don't believe, 
we won't be able to achieve. There are so many non-believers from the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who've heard verses of the Quran, who perhaps have read the Quran, some of them cover to cover. They might acknowledge that, okay, it has in it some good teachings, but they won't achieve the, the guidance, they won't achieve the mercy, and they won't achieve shifa only ma fil sudur. And the cure for that which lies in the heart. And if you take a look at the, this, or should I say in the chest, sorry, I'm using the term heart because, as I said, some of these uh, scholars refer to it, although the more correct and appropriate meaning is the chest because there is much more that lies in the chest we need to know this and we need to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is felt by those who believe in his mercy they they know it like we were saying the the, the, the sometimes those who are not uh, minin, who are not believers they do not see the light because they do not want to see the light. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from those. You want solutions to your problems? Yes, they are there. The one who made you has told you or has shown you the path, told you what the solutions are. It's up to you to follow it. It's up to you to try it out, see. And we have no option but not only to try it out, but implement it, put it into your life. See, it will open your doors. May the Almighty grant us every form of goodness, inshaAllah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.